Do 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 Another five minute mystery. See if you can solve the case before the end of the program. Do 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 Well, Alice, one more block and you'll behold the Brooks household. Two whole years, Jim. It just doesn't seem possible. It's been so long. You and Dorothy married with and with a place of your own. It's true, all right. Only too bad you haven't taken advantage of the old Brooks hospitality sooner. Well, I'm here now, and I intend on having a perfectly wonderful time. Now, here we are. Did you press the buttons? Oh, what a charming place this is. Dorothy's probably on needles and pins waiting for me to get you here. Darling, it's Jim. Here's Alice. Jim, look! What? Where? There, on the living room floor. It's Dorothy, dead. Do 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 do. Mr. Brooks, I'm afraid you and Miss Manning will have to submit to some routine. I'll be happy to help in any way I can, Inspector. Thank you, Miss Manning. Now, Mr. Brooks, while we we're waiting for some information, iPhone 4, I want you to tell me exactly what happened this morning. There's nothing much to tell. Both my wife and I are quite excited, expecting Alice, that is, Miss Manning here, to visit us from Chicago. I was to wait until she called me at the office. And you were there all morning? Yes, until Miss Manning's train arrived, we came at you. I had written Mrs. Brooks to tell her that I would call Jim at the office as soon as I arrived. The train was an hour late. Maybe if it had been here earlier, it may have prevented this. Hmm. Well, that remains to be seen. Apparently, Miss, Mrs. Brooks was sitting here in this chair putting red polish on her fingernails. When she was shot from behind, the polish was spilled all over the carpet, and she was still holding the tiny brush in her hand. She must have recognized her attacker, and since she did not die instantly, she printed these three initials here on the floor with the polish, D-O-C. D-O-C? I wish we could tell whose initials she was trying to reveal. You're sure you don't know anyone whose name would fit that? Positive. I can't. <gasps> oh. Oh. Yes, Miss Manning. Can you think of somebody with those initials? Well, I... I... D-O-C spells dog. And it's Mr. Brooks's nickname. Why, it can't be. Yes, Mr. Brooks. I haven't been called Doc for over two years. It was a nickname I picked up in school. My wife didn't like the name and never used it. No one in New York even knows me by Doc. You've got to believe me, Inspector. It's the truth. Hmm. Well, that we'll see just a minute. Hello? Yes? Grady? Yes? I see. Well, it's a sewed up anyway. Thanks. Well, you both will be happy to know our little murder is solved. Oh, then... 
Then it wasn't Doc after all? No, Miss Manning. It wasn't Doc. I'm arresting you, Miss Manning, for the murder of Dorothy Brooks. Do 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 do. I know. Why did the inspector arrest Miss Manning for the murder of Mr. Brooks? In a moment, we'll hear. But first, this. Do 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 do. And now back to our story. How dare you arrest me? I was still on the train. Your train wasn't late, Miss Manning. That phone call, that phone call just verified the fact you came out here, murdered Mrs. Brooks, returned to the station, and called Mr. Brooks to pick you up. That wasn't what really gave you away, though, Miss Manning. Too bad you didn't know Mr. Brooks was no longer called Doc. When you printed those letters on the carpet, the next time you leave a name as a clue to throw suspicion, you'd better get the rain right. But of course, there won't be a next time. Will there, Miss Manning? Join us again next time for another chance to solve a five-minute mystery. Do 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 do